Hello everyone, Sean Messian here, and today I'm talking about the application control module of uh, the Sophos UTM. Uh, so, what the application control module, uh, which is located from on web protection, uh, under web protection, you'll have application control. And what application control is, is a uh, module that allows us to um, control certain amount of traffic uh, that's dedicated for certain applications and uh, to and to block or rate limit traffic from other um, applications. So the reason why we want to do this is um, in a business environment, um, when you got let's say uh, you know let's say a thousand users. Um, now, if all those thousand users are going to Facebook and not work-related sites, it can take up a considerable amount of bandwidth. Um, you wouldn't notice, like you wouldn't think of just regular web requests, but the certain amount of traffic that's generated from not work-related sites, as well as you want, you know, let's use this case. So, for instance, Salesforce, which is a CRM platform. Uh, that's used by many businesses is going to be a lot more important than Facebook So we want to make sure that Salesforce has no interruption uh, No slowdowns no nothing, but Facebook is on the bottom of our list So we want to limit the amount of traffic that's dedicated to Facebook and um, We don't want anyone using Skype, so it's automatically blocked so um, now to enable the feature uh, under applications, we need to enable network visibility. So by network visibility, you hit the switch and uh, it, it turns on the feature. So it has this awesome feature. It's called flow monitor. So you can hit all interfaces or you can select whichever is your WAN interface um, uh, to see what traffic is leaving and coming in your network. Click open flow monitor. You can just give it a give it a moment. And this is the traffic that's currently coming in and leaving our network. Okay. So, you know, for instance, um, <clears throat> if this is a business environment, we would not want our users unless, you know, our tech, let's say the technical team uses team viewer, right? Uh, to help support your customers, you wouldn't want you know any average user to be able to install TeamViewer. Um, so you know you want to block that. So in order to create a rule, it, it's actually pretty simple. In this view, you just um, you just go and click the block button, and then it creates a rule. So if I go over to the application control rules, there is a um, there is a rule that gets generated and that's the same for the rest so say we come here actually I think I may have oh another thing too is on the top right hand corner here you have the pause button so it doesn't jump around screen which I just got affected by because um, I think I blocked QQ instead of team viewer so if I click block for team viewer, we should see a rule that specifically says team viewer. Yeah, and we do. Okay, so we'll just remove that one rule. So we've blocked team viewer. So now this um, this will block the team viewer app and the team viewer website. So you'll see the app and the website will be blocked. So any traffic destined to any known team viewer site will be blocked. So this prevents like uh, someone using a USB stick to install team viewer and try using it. It won't work. Okay. Now um, we can create manual rules. So in the application control rules, you can click new rule and you can you have an option for allow or block and so uh, under control these applications 
you can click the browse button by the clicking the little folder and these are uh, the categories for which they have predefined um, you know predefined rule sets so if I go under mail and let's say I want to block my you know I want to block everyone from using Gmail okay so if I click the Gmail I, all I do is click the application Gmail hit apply and um, you make a descriptive name Gmail and then hit save <clears throat> so um, that's how to create a uh, manual rule Under the advanced tab, we have an option to allow a specific network or uh, a specific host. Okay, so um, in this, in, for this example, <coughs> if you have, let's say, um, some some hosts that you know you don't want to be part of the this rules, then you just you just add them here. So under the application uh, control rule set. Um, rules sorry uh, you'll have when you can when you click new rules you have an option to uh, put in a group okay um, so I don't have any groups um, so we can have the option to create a group so say we'll have um, say we have a group users okay let's put users here so what we can do is create specific rules for uh, the users directory or sorry the users group so let's say users um, you know we want to stop Dropbox which is a file transfer app so hit Dropbox don't allow Dropbox now um, <clears throat> what you can do is um, you can also put options to allow certain uh, applications but uh, determine what uh, what level of service you want so I'll show you that in a minute so for the users uh, Dropbox is disabled okay if I go up to new rule I can then go users and then put allow list okay so under control these applications again same deal so now we're explicitly allowing um, traffic right but what we're going to do is say for games okay I'm just going to pick one out of the you know, say Farmville okay and what we can do is under productivity high, uh, a five on the productivity will give this maximum amount of bandwidth and then one is absolutely you know the lowest amount like it gives it the lowest priority so obviously in a business environment productivity for a Farmville is next to nothing so we're gonna put one and hit apply and then you save your changes <clears throat> and so what this does is now limits the amount of traffic um, the the priority of the traffic this is uh, another way of looking at all this is it's kind of like QoS for applications uh, for a specific application so you want your business critical applications to have the highest priority and everything else um, if there's bandwidth available you'll get um, you'll get to the site faster if uh, bandwidth is tight then it's going to be uh, rate limited or or slowed down intentionally to allow the rest of the traffic in so that is the application control module in uh, the SOFO CTM if you have any questions or comments about this video or any one of my other videos please leave them in the comment section below you can also email me at shawmancini2010 at gmail.com and visit my website, shawmancini.com. Thank you for watching, everyone.